Hello everyone, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to make another 3D log animation. So, let's get started. Open your After Effects, then create a new composition. I am going to rename it to Main, and I am using 1920 pixel by 1080 pixel and 15 second duration. Then hit OK. Now, I am going to use this logo. You can download this logo from the link in video description. And it's a free logo from FreePick. Select this logo, then copy. Then back to After Effects and create a new solid here. Rename it Logo Mask. Hit OK and select this. Go to Edit and paste it here. So here is our logo mask. Now let's create another new solid. Rename it E3D for 11 3D. Hit OK. You can hide this from here now select this a3d now go to custom layers and go to custom text and mask from here select the logo mask close it then click on scene setup it will open our 11 3d here then just click on next route so this is our 3d logo now go to presets and then select bevels physicals and from here i'm going to use the or let's use this okay now select this go to here and change path resolution to extreme and then go to materials and select pro shader 2 and then select metals from here expand it now select this and change this bevel copy to 3 now select the last one go to bevel offset Z offset drag this to left side and let's change its size make it something like this and increase its size then drag this to something this point now change this bevel curve to 0 and also bevel depth to 0 now select this shiny and change it apply this to here and for this we are going to use metal black Now select the gold and then apply this clean metal clean to here. Now we are going to increase this gold size. Select this, go to extrude and make it one. Then let's drag this something like this point. Select this, and make it something like this, ok, now again select this and let's make it 4 copies, again select this and drag this to here, let's resize it and then drag this to this point also increase its size and applying all to this also okay this is our logo now let's apply a light here i'm going to use spot blow then just hit ok from here now go to group 1 go to particle locks and let's make it little bit smaller and then let's change its position bring it to this point 
okay now close this grid now go to around three two seconds and few frames forward go to rotation and create a keyframe to the y rotation back to first frame let's rotate it something like this minus 135 now select this press u and go to this frame now again go to particle size create a keyframe here go to first frame and make it something like this now close this right click create new camera and hit ok now go to this point select the camera click here go to camera option and depth of field turn on this now let's add some blur effect to here so i'm going to change this focus distance to 500 and let's change it to this point 500 and create a keyframe to here go to this point and make it 800 now go to here and then turn off it create a keyframe go to this point and again turn on this now drag this to something like this point now go to project window let's drag the flare to our after effects timeline you can download this flare from the link in video description then create a new text type your text here and drag it to something like this point now select this let's pre-compose and change it to logo text select move all attribute into the new composition then hit ok now select this go to effect and press it and search for tint or fill and change this color to something like this now you can go to project window select this and then let's drag our flare to the timeline now change this mode to add go to this point and drag this flare to this here now go to this point and select this logo create a rectangle here and just draw a shape like this and don't forget to select this logo now go to mask and create a path to the mask keyframe to the mask path and then go to this point just select this and drag this to here then go to something like this point and drag this mask to here and go to mask feather let's make it 20 now let's create our background go to new create new solid rename it bg for background hit ok now let's drop it to the below of all layers then go to effect in presets and search for lens flare apply lens flare here then go to lens type select the last one then drag this to this point go to first frame create a keyframe here now go to around five second and let's just drag this to something like this now fit it to the screen, select this, go to effect and presets and apply first blur, make it blurness to 30 and check this repeat as pixel. Press U, drag this to something like this point. Now select this and again go to effect and presets and search for tint. Select this and change this last color to something like blue then hit ok now let's see the preview
so our log animation is complete hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then make sure to like this video and if you are new to my channel then make sure to subscribe it so thank you so much again and i'll be back with new tutorials soon till then take care